Hi everybody, um, everyone's seen these videos now, 10 records that nobody else has. I wasn't going to do it. John at Big Bop uh, called me out. But Vinyl Richie has been quite persistent, even though he's watched 60 odd videos already. Um, this is not going to be a contest entry. You know, it was TKR uh, Video Central who started it. This is just going to be 10 records, which I've probably shown a number of before. This is partly why I didn't want to do it. But anyway, let's go. This is a 7 inch 78. This is a regular size of a 78, it's a 10 inch of course. You can see how small it is. And in fact, a lot of 78s were produced which were smaller, 6 inches and even 3 inch 78 discs and I've seen some tiny little ones as well. Anyway, this is the Old Witch Players on one side and the Victory Dance Orchestra on the flip and you can see the Electric Recording Company. <laughs> They're Electric Recording before everything went audiophile. Um, this is just interesting to people in the UK particularly I think because Al Bowley uh, it's for vocalists, so it makes this a bit more desirable. Uh, sad case, really. He'd recorded a thousand songs in his lifetime. Um, but he died at the age of 43. And it says on Wikipedia that um, during the war he was appearing somewhere in High Wycombe with his wife. Um, he decided to go back and stay at the flat in London. And that very night, a parachute, a German parachute mine was dropped and exploded outside his flat. Um, he was probably asleep, it was like three o'clock in the morning. Now, his body was untouched, but it blew, the explosion blew the bedroom door off the hinges, knocked him in the head, killed him. And he was apparently buried in a mass grave with other bomb victims. Uh, an unusual record that I'm sure nobody else in the VC has. Now some of these records, borderline you may have, you may not. Here's a 78. Now this is for Platters for Magic Touch, not an easy one to come by at all on 78. Winner takes all. Uh, winner take all. Um, I'm showing you because it's a Hong Kong 78. Never see them. I have four Hong Kong 78s, one is Red Price Sock and his orchestra, and three of the platters. Never see them. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this really. I've got a pile of singles and 78s here. I was going to show, I've got classical records that no one's got. I've got 12 inches that no one's got. You know, you know how it is. Even this record, I don't think anyone's got. Of a Harris Pilton and Stunt and they leap up and go, oh, I've got that. Well, that's an impression of Stunny. <laughs> Harris, it's not you, mate. Okay. Um, Valor Regan and the Valorons, Fireman. One of the, probably the top Northern Soul, or one of the top Northern Soul wants, you know, hundreds of pounds worth. I don't think anyone else in the VC has got that on Atlantic. Uh you know, I had that really fantastic collection of Starlight and all sorts of amazing mint condition singles I found a year or two back. So I'm showing you a couple of those again. Dire Tones, very rare. Uh, Ruby is Gone and Oh Baby Come Dance With Me on the flip. The Doo Wop, I mean, just wonderful, wonderful stuff. Oh dear. Um, this as well, the Tomcats. Big Brother and Tom Tom Cat. Uh, it has been linked with Joe Meek, but it's not a Joe Meek record um, at all. It's, it's an erroneous belief. And it's possible that Marty Wilde was in this band. Very rare, one off. Again, <laughs> no one else is going to have that. Um, no one else is going to have these records either. No, this is going to count as one. Well, I'm losing count already, who knows? They might count. <laughs> that record, I'll come to in a minute. This is a private recording disc. 
On one side play that thing by Ollie Powers, Harmony Syncopators. I think he only did one recording, Ollie Powers. Great track in the 20s um, with jazz. And on the flip, Blues for Rampart Street by Ida Cox. Now, you'll notice this is aluminium, as are these. And it says play with trailer needle only, um, use trailer needles only. It's just as an impression of that, just written across the black here, uh, across that band. This is Smokehouse Blues, uh, Jelly Roll Morton, and The Chant, Jelly Roll Morton's Red Hot Peppers. Now, people used to be able to record in their own homes, their own discs, and there were all sorts of different players which were available. And we tend to think of recording it came in with cassettes, you know. You know, people could record their own discs in their own homes like this. No one else has got this particular disc. Aluminium, of course, you would never play a proper <laughs> your regular needle on that. Okay, I'm going to count this as one <laughs> because, yeah, that was the same thing. Red Norvo Trio on 78. Now, the Red Norvo Trio, these have never been sold on Pub Psych or on Discogs or anything. These are just stupidly rare. Um, what makes them exciting to a collector, of course, I mean, people into jazz, <laughs> uh, is you have Charlie Mingus on bass, Tao Faro on guitar. And interestingly, Red Norvo on vibes, so there's no drums. That counts as a percussion. Uh, but Charlie Mingus just stupidly rare records. Um, I'm going to show this, even though I've shown it before. I just love this disc. I think it's just a wonderful, wonderful song. It's from 1935 by Elsie Carlyle with my eyes wide open. Um, it's a test pressing 78. I've shown it before, but I love the flip of this and I don't think anyone could tire of looking at that. It's one sided, so this side just says Decker Master Pressing. And at the bottom there, look, Decker spelled out in musical notes. Go on, Stanley, tell me you've got it. <laughs> uh, number 78, again, stupidly rare. The Charlie Parker Quartet, never another one of these sold, I don't think, on Pop Psych. Um, Laird Baird, I do think there's another pressing of it. Which has been sold once but again absolutely fantastic with i hear music um and because people the jazz nuts love the names hank jones max roach and a guy i'd never heard of teddy kovic kotick k-o-t-i-c-k -K, on the bass there we are i'm kind of i don't know if i'm running out before how many i've done here that gravy train, I showed it in one of my very first ever videos. It's a signed copy. It's signed by the founding member himself, J.D. Hughes. It's his original copy. No one else has got that. And there's another record I had here. I really want to show it. <laughs> I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, there's a nice psych signal. Here we go. Here we go, you see how much I've prepared for this. And I showed this about three years ago, and it's an absolute monster psychedelic single. Um, Christopher Colt, Virgin Sunrise, I think he was on one of the later Rebel compilations. Just an absolutely superb psychedelic single, that. Just 10 out of 10. And on the flip, Girl in the Mirror. 
as you see it's a demonstration copy only I don't think it was ever released it may have made a stock copy it may not have done there we are singles and 78s you know you love it